Hello. <laughs> Welcome to another Ryder Cam TV video, and today we've got something a little bit different, something really important, and it's data tag. Whee! Look so at that. We were speaking to our friends at Data Tag. Now, Data Tag, some of you might not know. You might have seen it all over bikes, but not know what it is. It's the UK's most trusted security marking system. Did you have to read that then? I did. We're it's totally unscripted, aren't we? My brain is just addled. Um, it's a system where basically lots of things have come out for property and then Data Tag have this system that you mark lots of stuff on your bike. So it's not just about your bike being stolen, it's about bits of your bike being stolen or your bike being stolen and then cut up and being able to identify that that's stolen. It's really hard, isn't it, mm -hmm. to identify that. So, this company, and I am reading because there's lots and lots of notes in it. Was started in the mid 90s. It was, uh, by, by Yamaha Mitsui. And is now owned by somebody called Kevin. It is, Kevin Howes. And he's been instrumental in the development of the system from the start, and he still runs the company today, which says an awful lot about a company, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It really does. So. Motorbike theft is a massive thing, especially in the UK at the moment. People are coming and taking bikes from driveways, taking, pushing people off bikes and stuff. And you've got your trackers and your alarms, and you should always use a multitude of different things. But where I think data tag fits in is that it's just an unassuming sticker that I have. Here. Shows you stickers. It's an unassuming sticker that you've probably seen stuck on a bike somewhere before. Now, we're always advocates of why do you put a, um, a, a lock on your front wheel when we go into a hotel at night and people are saying, well, you should have extra stuff. And you think, if my bike's got something on it and the next one hasn't, they're more than likely going to steal the one that hasn't got it. And that's kind of a first principle of data tag isn't it, it? is yeah if you can see data tag stuck on it and i've got data tag on this bike but they haven't put the sticker on so i'm gonna sort that out when i get home <laughs> um that's the first indication that if i was to steal this bike try and sell it on it's been reported stolen high chances are that it's going to be found to be stolen no matter what they do with numbers and stuff if they steal my bike cut it up and try and sell the bit there's a high likelihood that some of those bits are going to be marked with the data tag individual number to this bike and therefore me. So it makes things a little bit harder to steal bikes. And that's the op. That's that's what we're all after, isn't it? We want to If somebody it. wants to steal your bike, they'll steal it. They will. If they're not bothered about the repercussions afterwards, they'll still steal it. Yeah. What we're trying to do is make it more complicated for them yeah. to deal with it. And that's what things like data tag, your trackers, yeah. you know, that's what it's all about. You yeah. know, now most bikes, most main dealers like Ducati, Harley Davidson, BMW, Triumph, all come pre registered because they've obviously got that agreement with Data Tag to have them all on the bikes as standard. So, why are we looking at this kit? Well, we're looking at the kit because you can buy it separately from Data Tag Direct, and we'll put all the links and information down in the description down below the video. But what happens if I bought a bike? It's got a data tag on it, but the person hasn't sent me the details of the data tag. It's kind of a bit of a grey area. For or even if you right. don't know if your bike has data tag yeah. on it. So we'll put, a, put some information down in the bottom. Now I will read it, read some of it, but if, let's have a look. It's really important that your bike is correctly registered, obviously, so that if it's found or bits are found, then we can trace it back to the owner. So you can check the registration of your bike by contacting data tag at info at datatag.co.uk. Hopefully I've remembered to put the uh, email address on the screen and quote the data tag number that's visible on your bike or that you have on the paperwork that comes with the bike, if you've got that. If you haven't, um, and if you have, they can perform at data tag uh, a confirm or deny type check. They're not going to tell Joe Bloggs that yes, that is data tagged because they could be telling the potential thief. So there's going to be lots of checks that they go through with you about that. Security questions. Yeah. Like how, how you know, how. What are you doing there? <laughs> what are you What's doing there? Like, <laughs> that's what I was getting at. Um, <laughs> um, but 
they, they will help you through that because it's in their interest to keep the integrity of their system as well as helping the integrity of your bike remain, isn't it? Um, you can also register your new tag if you were to buy it separately and buy it through the website. So it's a really, really good system that doesn't involve batteries. It doesn't involve money all the time, but it does involve you making sure that when you sell your bike, you tell data tag you've sold it or you rely on the dealer and tell them to change it. And if you sell it privately, remember that it's registered to you. So if the person that's bought the bike off you sells the bike or has it stolen, then they've kind of lost the trail back to And there's no yearly cost to this, it's just a payment, no. is it a one-off payment? So it comes in a handy little box like that. What does a box smell like, Toby? Weirdo. Uh, strangely quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a mixture of things that come with this so they've got eight unique ultraviolet id stencils and they're used with the etching fluid so the stencils are i think these are really good these stencils so if you i won't take them out but they're stencils like any other stencils with holes there and you paint the fluid over the top of them yeah so that's that. So I'm that's gonna, marked all over your bike. There's it, loads of them. I'm going to put it back in the box. So we don't lose it. So we don't lose any of it because one of you lucky, lucky sub viewers subscribers is, is going to win it. Whee. So what else do we get? We get one vial of or small tube of chemical UV etching compound with applicator. Which is that. Which is that. With an applicator. And the applicator is just like an ear earbud really but obviously strong but with that the UV, UV thing you could actually put you, you could write anything on it you using that you could write the registration number of the bike your yeah the, like they used to do with postcodes on yeah and stuff. the VN number yeah. and things, things like that uh, a tamper proof evident warning register re-registration label oh which is that which is that now it's in it's important to note that while we're talking about data tag for motorbikes, you can use data tag for cars, trailers, caravans, anything that moves really, plant, you know, like diggers and stuff. It's quite good, isn't it? Yeah, I, what I, was, I, was under, I was wondering where you were going with that. Yeah. Anything then, with a wheel. Then you get a domed sticker as well, which is the one that you would see on the bike somewhere, hence giving that visual representation that it's protected. I'll just show you where I've got it on mine and the reason I'm going to do this here's the baby GS mine's just above the uh, fuel tank there I once bought a bike off somebody and he said it had data tag on it mm -hmm. and he said to me oh I said you don't want to put the sticker on I was like well why not and he said well you don't want to tell me you've got a data tag on it do you why not? Well, that's the whole point of it, isn't it? <laughs> you know, it was like, and he was serious about it. Oh, well. Oh, oh well. Muppet. Then we've got a tube of data dots, and that's con that contains hundreds and hundreds of data dots, including an invisible data tag forensic DNA with, plush, uh, with brush applicator. So do you remember years ago they brought out security products that you could get for your home, and they had tiny little dots, and in that dot has got numbers and stuff. That's what that is but it's obviously um, for motorbikes and for other things with data. And you get a little brush. Yeah, there's like an applicator in there. I'm not going to open it, but there's an applicator in there. with. The and brush. you paint it on any... Uh, the, more, the more awkward the place, the better on yep. your bike. Then you get Ooh, two... More, 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 yeah, more. Two circular-shaped electronic transponders. They're similar size to a T-shirt button or... or OK, put my hand behind there, you'll see them. Now, also in there are two glass transponders. They're like grains of rice. They're a bit bigger, actually, but if I just try and hold, focus on there, yeah. there you go. So, already we're building up an extensive range of stuff that you get with it, really. And it shows how, I think that it shows just how comprehensive this sort of protection is. So let's just talk about those two, those transponders and the bits of uh, grains of rice, if you want, let's call them that. Yeah. They can be put anywhere on the bike. I mean, I, I fit it to my bike. I have no idea where they are, and they, I think they're glued on. Yeah, I think I think that stuff. You get some Loctite glue in there, don't you? That stuff is the glue. That that stuff oh, you've right, got okay. on. It's surrounded by stuff that goes hard, isn't it? That's what, how it stays on. Okay. Then you get. We might have made that up. Alcohol wipes. <laughs> double bubble of Loctite. Double bubble. Loctite. I think that's for the um, transponders. Yes. 
and an explanation leaflet of how to use that. There you go. And that all comes with the instructions. Who reads them? Where to put stuff, what to do with stuff. Well, a lot of people don't tend to read instructions, including me, but for this, I think you really need to read them because you need to know where to put them, how to put them. They've got handy little diagrams of where the best places are to put them how to put them in and there's a couple of little tools where you can get the dot and, and put it right in like an ignition barrel and all that all that sort of stuff so there's a lot of stuff to go with it then of course you get your aftermarket or your your membership registration with all of the numbers all the etchings and stuff and it tells you what to do with that now all of that should be registered pre-registered for you if you bought a brand new bike with yeah. it on it's a really, really good system. There is also a number, a telephone number, which I've got in my uh, telephone and the contacts in my telephone yeah. with that number on it. So yeah. if, a, if something do, does happen, you can just phone them up and yeah. say... And the number is everywhere, all, yeah. over, all over the paperwork. So, a really, really good system. It's not a huge amount of money to spend on the potential peace of mind that's got no yearly cost ongoing that could mean that if you're... 17 20 50 grand car motorcycle caravan gets stolen that you're going to be able to find it again yeah or potentially going to be able to find it again and you might even be able to find it if it's in bits sounds awful doesn't it i would be mortified but yeah imagine the elation of an owner having his bike stolen or hers <laughs> and they undo your back in a bag <laughs> And they, there you go. they find the bits yeah. and you know, one, you're not going to be forever looking for the bike. Yeah. It helps you prove as a customer of an insurance company that you're not frauding them, that it actually has been stolen. And there might well be some justice on the other end for the people that have done it. Who knows? Who knows? But there's more. Oh. There's more. There's always more. Ride, yes. a, ride a Cam TV, the channel that keeps giving. Oh, yes. Have you got your Rider Cam TV t-shirt on there? I have, underneath here, yeah. but there this is go. about data tag. Okay. <laughs> but you can get your merch. <laughs> um, so data tag have very kindly given us one kit to talk about, as well as to give away to one lucky reader, accompanied with... Reader? Viewer? Viewer. <laughs> accompanied with a buff so that you can wear when you're on your motorbike. Just to remind you, you've got data tag, which I think is quite a lovely little thing. So, in order to win it, you need to subscribe to our channel. And then in the comment, it's really easy. We're not going to ask for you to do this, do you know, a million and one things. What we, what we need you to do is quote the model or make of your bike, or I would say the model and make of your bike, that they'd like to protect. And what we'll do in a month's time, when we've hit 500 likes, we'll pick a, a winner at random and get hold of you through the YouTube system and then find out where you are. Um, the reason that we're asking that, so hit the subscribe button and then write a, let us know why you would want it, obviously. Um, but in the comments, put down in there what make and model of the bike you have, which is the one that you would want to protect with this system. Um, and that's just so that it gives data tag a rough idea of which bikes we've got out there that are looking at this and of course it helps them when you tie the system up that it, it kind of adds up and so we don't want number plates or anything like that no. we just want the make and yeah. the type of bike so i would say i really love that system because it would help me get my bike back if it was stolen and i ride a 2021 bmw gs adventure 1250 te te in black yeah <laughs> with with all this extra stuff how cool is that? That's very cool, mate. But there's more. And there's more. There's more. So we are the channel that keeps giving. We are. So after 500 likes, when our channel gets, when our video gets to 500 likes, share it wide because the quicker it gets shared, the quicker it gets liked, the quicker you might get your data tag yep. in your in the post. Um, there is more because if you want a data tag product, um, certainly the data tag. We have got a 20% discount that Data Tag have very, very kindly allowed us to um, have for you. That's pretty cool, Which actually. Is great, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, the 20% discount is on all of their products. Now, wow. Now, just bear in mind that you might think, well, why do I want a Data Tag? Because I've got a bike. It covers everything. You could put it on your bicycle if you wanted to, I guess. But you could put it on caravans, trailers, cars, bikes. 
The list is boats. The list is endless, isn't it? A twenty percent discount is quite a substantial discount, I would think. It is. It is. So all you need to do, the code will be right here, right now, is Ridercam TV20, and that's at data datatag.co.uk. Head over there, have a look. Other than watching our video, you know it's assisted for you. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. So for transparency, because um, I think we ought to be transparent. They have provided this free of charge for review, but we were very clear with them, like we are with everybody else, that this is an honest review. If it was a rubbish product, we perhaps wouldn't be, as Blakey was saying, it's a rubbish product, but we're not going to be bought by people sending us stuff for free. And we're not gonna get any of it. You lovely people are gonna get it, or one of you are. So if you like the video, give it a massive thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, enter the competition, go to datatag.co.uk, put in the discount code and buy everything. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in the next video.